Hello everyone. I have a new finished object to show you. This is the Cross Hill cardigan, which I just finished a couple of days ago. Blocked it. And this is a pretty lace pattern. There, I'll show you the. Uh, and I just love to up here the uh, seams, how they come together. Turned out really well with the color. And these first five stripes are from the Sheepy Shire uh, by way of um, Llamas and Pajamas. Jude, thank you very much. This is what I did with those minis you sent me. And then the rest of the stripes are from my Aberdeen's Holiday Box 2022. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then six, uh, seven, eight. And then for the night, I added an extra stripe just to give it some length and the pattern required. And then this is just white. And if this looks familiar, this colorway is because I used the same yarn <laughs> on um, the sweater I made um, last fall. And again, this is also from an advent, from the uh, Aberdeen's advent, but I used the same uh, main color. It's the same color. So I really do love the way that kind of goes with just about any kind of, um, it's a nice neutral color. It's, a, it's cinnamon and it just goes with any kind of color combination you want to add to it. So this um, Shearwater cardigan, I'm sure I remember, um, was made with this yarn which I still have quite a bit of, uh, maybe enough to make another sweater or a cardigan. We shall see what I'm going to do with it. And so, yeah, this kind of has the same color combination, but it's a different, obviously a different pattern. So this is from Little Theorem. It was a test knit I did for her. And you see that beautiful lace pattern. And if that looks familiar, okay, it's because it's the same lace pattern that's in this sweater, the Polkshan uh, T-shirt, T-top. Um, and it's also by Little Theorem, the pattern, obviously, because that's her lace pattern. Okay, and it is also the same lace pattern, see that, in the Burrell sweater which I worked on another test pattern for Little Theorem, which I finished about a year ago this time. And at the time I had done this in stripes because I thought I was running out of this yarn. And this is um, Vanna White Lion Brand. So I did stripes and then I did find it a little bit short. So I, I put in an extra white stripe here because I ran out of this yarn, I thought. However, when I was cleaning out my yarn room, I found more of this yarn. So four extra skeins of this. So this is the, um, let me get a good look at that. So you can get a good look. So this is the Vanna White Lime Brand. So now what I think I'll do is I'll take apart the ribbing because half of it was in, um, the main color and then the other half was in the white fluffy yarn but i do like these stripes i'm not going to take these apart because this just took a little too long to make but what i can do is take apart the ribbing this part of the ribbing actually all the ribbing make it longer and then do the ribbing with the same the blue yarn so it will just have stripes here in the center and i think the sleeves were a little bit shorter too on me but I'll leave it as it is. I don't think I want to take this apart just yet. So that's the Burrell sweater. Pattern also by Little Theorem. Okay. And this is the very first pattern I tested for her. Again, little dot of Little Theorem. And you can see it's the same lace yarn, uh, lace pattern. Uh, and this is um, lace weight Malabrigo. It's just gorgeous yarn. It's very light. Uh, it's wool, but it's lace weight. And it just makes this beautiful scarf or shawl. It's wide enough to be a shawl. 
um, this is being glass. It's a Scottish or it's a Gaelic term. So I'll have all the uh, pattern names down below, but I just, I love these colors, how they came together. So it's like lavender. Yeah, so this was the very first pattern that I saw of hers I just fell in love with. It's this beautiful lace pattern. Um, and yeah, so this little theorem. And these are all the uh, test knits that I did for her. And the very latest one is the uh, cross heel cardigan. There's another look at the uh, cross heel cardigan. Still have all these ends to weave in. But the nice thing about this is that this is knit flat back and forth. So all the ends kind of end up on one side. So don't have any ends to weave in here. But yeah, still got quite a few to do there. But you know, that's for some to do when you're watching TV, Super Bowl games, whatever. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Have a great uh, day and enjoy. Have a good day. Bye everyone.